Hey, I am Tina, and what I want to tell you is a real-life horror story. No, no, it's not about meeting a ghost or escaping from a maniac, thank God. However, my story will give you creeps because I have been babysitting a monster. It all started a couple of years ago. I was 14 and I needed money to buy myself a new tablet, so I needed work. My mom came up with an idea. Her boss was looking for a babysitter for a seven-year-old son, and that seemed like a perfect task for me. It was also good for my mom. She had a new job and kind of wanted to do her new boss a favor. So I was in. I met that woman, Miss Killian, and her son Terry, a day before I was supposed to babysit him. He seemed like a little angel. Blonde hair, blue eyes, friendly smile. I liked him at once. The next day, I came for my first babysitting session. Just a couple of hours. I couldn't wait. My first job at last. My idea was that I would help Terry a bit with the lessons, then we'd watch some cartoons until mom came back. What could possibly go wrong? As soon as Miss Killian closed the door, I turned back to Terry and was surprised to see an intense, wicked expression on his face. Now look, he said. Don't think that now you can tell me what to do. I will do what I want and don't even think about calling my mom. Well, <laughs> that was unexpected. He was saying it with a very sinister expression and honestly, he gave me the creeps. Obviously, I couldn't let him go to his room and do whatever he liked. I had to follow him to his room, even if not as enthusiastic as half an hour before. And that was my mistake. When I entered his room, he started screaming in a top pitched voice very loudly. I was afraid that we could be heard by the neighbors and they would come to save the kid. Well, that was clearly overreacting. I was really surprised by his behavior. But the fun had just begun. Terry came out of his room with the most sinister grin on his face and went towards the bathroom. There, he locked himself. Okay, I thought, this would be at least a bit of a break. I went to the kitchen to wait for him to come out, but he wouldn't leave the bathroom. 10 minutes, 20, I started getting nervous. I went to the bathroom and called him. He was totally silent. I insisted, knocking on the door violently. No response. My heart rate was at about 300 and I started to panic. I threw myself against the door several times to smash it open, but nothing. I was crying, not knowing what could have happened to a child alone in the bathroom. When I began dialing 911, he came out of the bathroom smiling peacefully. All trembling nervously, I shouted at him in tears, but he ignored me completely and proceeded to his room. At that point, I just prayed for that evening to finish soon. Thankfully, in about 10 minutes, Miss Killian returned home. Terry ran to her with an angelic face. Hi, mommy, he screamed happily. I couldn't believe my eyes. I like Tina a lot. Let her come to us more often. God, no, no. When Terry went to bed, I told Miss Killian I received some warning reactions from Terry and that I think they needed someone more professional than me. You know what? She didn't believe me. She was absolutely sure her Terry was an angel and he seemed to like me so much. She said they used to have problems with babysitters because Terry liked no one and I seemed to be the first one to find a key to his heart. As if that monster had a heart. She begged me to give Terry a second chance. I came home totally exhausted and told my mom about the evening, but she didn't believe me either. Oh, come on, Tina, he is seven. It can't be that bad. Try to babysit him a couple of times more for me. I felt like a hostage to the situation, but okay, for my mom. I came to Miss Killian's another time and Terry was sincerely happy to see me. I thought that maybe this time everything would go okay. But he had a plan for my visit. At the beginning, he was absolutely okay. We were doing lessons and then I cooked dinner for him, a plate of pasta. When I called him downstairs, he came absolutely calm and silent, took a beautiful plate I had cooked and threw it into the trash bin. I was shocked. Do you think it is normal to behave like that? And what are you going to eat, I wonder? He answered calmly, you'd better cook something else. Otherwise, I'll tell mom you haven't given me anything to eat 
and she will fire your mom. I'm not going to cook you anything, young man. I can make you a sandwich at most if you want. He didn't answer anything. He opened a kitchen drawer and took a pair of kitchen scissors. I told him to give them to me. He pretended not to hear me. He reached for the lock of my hair and clicked with the scissors. All that without saying a word, just smiling. I pulled my hair out of his hand and took the scissors from him forcefully. He started yelling at me that it hurt and he would tell his mom. I told him I genuinely didn't care. I was scared as hell of him and didn't want to see him anymore anyway. When Miss Killian got home, I just told her I was going to leave them. That child had scared me to death. Thankfully, Miss Killian accepted the fact that I quit and my mom didn't have any problems at work for that. Later on, I found out that Terry, the little angel, was seeing the therapist for his strange behavior that his mom had finally noticed. From that moment on, I never considered babysitting as a job. Who knows what demon you might happen to babysit? Surely you've heard some scary stories about babysitting creepy children or even about horrible babysitters. Share them in the comments and like this video.